Hi everyone, it's Laura from lauralondonfitness.com where I help busy women get hot and healthy from the inside out at any age. Today I have a great 10 minute yoga stretch video for you. I've been doing this before my workouts, after my workouts, really anytime I feel like it, but it's great to loosen up those joints if you've got some stiff joints, especially in the hip and pelvis area. You're gonna love it. So let's get started. All we need is a mat. We're gonna start down on the ground. We're going to start in a tabletop position. So that is with your wrist aligned with your shoulder. Both palms are down on the mat. Our feet are down. If you look between your knees, you can see your feet. So move your feet so like you can't see them anymore. That's great alignment. And we're gonna start here just shifting back into a child's pose. Now, if you need to widen your knees, just widen your knees. Let your body sink down. Let it go wherever it feels comfortable today. And just take a deep breath. In and out. Really start letting the body just relax a little bit. As soon as you, 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 know, you get in this position, your muscles tighten up. But if you breathe, they're just gonna start relaxing. Fabulous. Now let's take our palms, let's tent those fingers, raise our elbows up off the mat, and just walk the hands to one side a little bit. Push them back, kind of keep your hips down. And then walk it center, deep breath. And then just walk it to the other side. A nice stretch in your side. Walk it back to center and we're going to rise back up to table. Now this is called dancing lion. So what we're going to do is we're going to start shifting our body forward to the side, around, back to the other side. So you're making a nice circle with your body. If this is hard on your knees, you can put a towel or roll up your mat, double it. But just breathe and move in that nice, delicious circle. Feel those hips, the joints starting to loosen up. Might hear some cracking. That's okay. We're going to get the blood flowing <clears throat> and the fascia moving and stretching. direction. So let's come to center and shift it back and going in the other direction right now. Feels good. Feels yummy. Keep it going. Breathing. Close your eyes. Really feel that circle. shifting our weight back and just go forward with it. Warming up those shoulders. Nice. One more here. And then we're going to reverse it. So now the arm is going to go in the other direction. Fabulous. Good job. Keep it going. And one more here. Boom. And bring that hand down. Now we're going to take the same hand. We're going to inhale, exhale, lift that arm up, and we're going to thread it through. This is called threading the needle. We're going to thread that arm under and kind of bring our hand. I'm going to go to this side so you can see me. We're going to bring the face down to the floor or wherever your body wants to go today. And just kind of be here for a minute. Stretching out, stretching out that shoulder. All right, let's bring that arm back up. 
And now you're gonna switch it over to the other side, whichever side you started on. Just switch. I'm gonna go over here now. And just breathe. Each time you breathe, keep your body softened up a little bit. on that palm to rise back up and then come back to tabletop. Now we're going to flip our toes under and push into your palms, raising your knees up, hips are going back and you're going into a downward facing dog. Maybe your knees are bent. Just go where your body comfortable. Now we're going to Let's pedal the feet, lifting and raising, lifting and raising those heels, stretching, see where your legs are taking you today. All right, now we're gonna come up onto our tippy toes and we're gonna drop our heels to one side and pick them up and drop them to the other. Pick them up, drop them to the other up, drop, and then come back to center. Beautiful. Now, we're going to step your feet wide and just walk your hands backward. Walk your hands toward your feet. And just let your body hang low. Let it hang. Let it really feel. Stretching out the back of the legs. Maybe grab your elbows here. Take a deep breath. Feel that whole breath going across your back. Right? And letting it go. And sinking a little deeper into your stretch. Now we're going to place your hands back down on the mat. And shift your weight to one side. Shift your weight to the other side. Let's turn it here so you can see me. <laughs> Shifting your weight, maybe not. Shifting the weight back and forth. Maybe you need to be here. Maybe you need to be up here. Wherever you need to be today, that's fine. What we're doing is we're stretching and warming up the inner thighs, the ankles, a little bit of hips. Just moving it around. Very nice. A couple more here, one on each side. Come back to center. Let that head hang low again. And we're going to make a slight bend in our knees. And we're going to roll, we are going to roll up vertebrae by vertebrae, starting with your low back, taking your time. Bring our hands with a big inhale over our head. Exhale, down. Another inhale up. One more time. On this last one, breathe in. Bring your palms together over your head. Exhale and bring them down to heart center. Ah, that was beautiful. You should feel relaxed. You should feel a little bit like you worked your hips, your joints. You're more fluid and mobile. So I hope you enjoyed that. That is great to do um, really anytime during the day before a workout, after a workout. If you just want to get up from your desk or do something different, this is a great, nice little stretch for you. I hope you enjoyed that. If you haven't, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the little bell so you'll be notified of all the videos that I'm uploading. And visit me at lauralondonfitness.com. And most of all, have a fit and fabulous day and stay healthy and safe, everyone. I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.